My name is Kirtland DeVille, Associate Professor of Radiation Oncology and Clinical Director of Sibley Radiation Oncology. The Johns Hopkins National Proton Therapy Center is significant because it will bring access to the most advanced radiation therapy technologies to the DC area, to the Sibley community, and to the Johns Hopkins network. I serve as Clinical Director of Sibley Radiation Oncology and the Johns Hopkins National Proton Therapy Center. I serve primarily a clinical operations role, helping to ensure the day-to-day -day management and workflow of our patients. Proton therapy has no exit dose. Unlike x-rays or conventional photons, we're able to minimize the radiation dose path going into the surrounding tissues because it has no exit dose. X-rays will exit into surrounding tissues and potentially increase the unwanted radiation dose exposure to normal tissues outside of your tumor target. We're still learning which tumor types are best suited for proton therapy. There are some tumors where there's clear advantage to using protons over conventional X-ray radiation. Those include pediatric tumors, brain tumors, or tumors of the spine where it's difficult to deliver high doses of radiation. Other areas we know that proton therapy is effective, yet we don't know whether it's an advantage yet. Those include prostate cancer, breast cancer, and lung cancer. And we have national trials which are studying, um, in comparison to photon therapy, whether protons may provide an advantage. There are other tumors that we also suspect there may be an advantage, um, and those include liver tumors and head and neck tumors, where we don't have much evidence, but we'll be exploring the potential of proton therapy. Nearly all patients will be candidates for proton therapy, specifically patients with solid organ tumor types. We're not yet treating liquid cancers like leukemia with proton therapy, um, but really the advancement of scanning beam proton, which we'll have here at the Johns Hopkins National Proton Therapy Center, has allowed us to explore the use of proton therapy across the body treating all types of tumors. I have um, many years of training and teaching um, and treatment in proton therapy coming from the University of Pennsylvania. It was actually the sixth academic center to have proton therapy. There are now over 30 centers across the country, but actually half of them opened in the past three years. So there's few sites that actually have significant experience and few practitioners that have significant experience in treating with proton therapy. Um, and so I've treated several hundreds of patients with proton therapy, um, primarily with prostate cancer, which is my um, clinical and research background, and also soft tissue sarcoma. We will have lots of research going on uh, related to proton therapy at the National Proton Therapy Center. We'll have large uh, national trials which are exploring the use of proton therapy and whether there are advantages. Those include in prostate cancer, and breast cancer, and lung cancer. Um, we'll also have um, investigator-initiated trials which are exploring areas that have not been explored for proton therapy. Um, and also we even have a dedicated research gantry which will be able to do basic science and translational studies in in vitro setting to see whether at a biologic level there are any differences to proton therapy.